one. And here comes uh, Turan Mizayev of Azerbaijan to open his campaign in this men's 69 kilo class. Sixth in the World Championships last season. Third a couple of years ago in the Europeans. So experienced enough. Yeah, he's another man who, who, he's not consistent, but when he has his day, he can be dangerous. That's five kilos inside his competition best. Very good. It looks good. For my money, that's the uh, most confident snatch I've seen this evening. So perhaps boevsky has got a bit of a competition on, on hand. Well, let's hope so, because... Uh, We'd like to see Boevsky pushed a little bit, and 68 kilos, 61. Boevsky is the heavy man, of course, so there's a little bit of help there for this man from Azerbaijan. Looked good on his first attempt, didn't he? Looked very, very confident. Yeah. European fourth last year when he uh, snatched 150 kilos, so this will certainly improve on that. He had 330. He was a little bit unlucky last year because he ended up in fourth place. He only lost the bronze medal in the Europeans by virtue of body weight. So maybe it's going to be his lucky year. But you make your own luck by picking up the weight. He's definitely capable of this phys physically. You just got to get his concentration going. It'll be good to see this because it'll it'll put pressure back on Buevsky and it will be up to the Buevsky to perform then. Time of plenty. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. And I think that's uh, Pretty sensible because now if Bursky wants to win the gold, he's got to go to 155. Has to do 155. But of course, this man's still left with another attempt also. So mm. if he then did 155, Bursky would have to do 157.5. So, but, but he's doing the competition. He's doing the right thing by using just the minimum increment here and not trying to be flashy or silly. Yes, and of course he's got he's got the body weight advantage as well. And that uh, 152 and a half kilo. So can this man, Mirazoy? and put the pressure back on remember lighter than Buevsky so this lift would equal Buevsky but of course he would go into the lead by virtue of lighter body weight and then uh, there'd only be one lift left in the competition which of course would be Buevsky and it would have to be 157.5 for the gold so Sorry, correction, I said Mirozoyan, it's obviously it's Mirozoyev. Or Mirzayev. <laughs> Even. <laughs> so, let's hope he gets this, because it uh, will really uh, set us up for the second half of the competition. Again, I think he's capable, it's just, uh, he's got to get his head round it. Into that little rolling routine. Oh, oh yes! Well... What a great competition this is turning into. A personal best for Mirozoyev, and now it's all left for Boevsky to do. Boevsky has to go to 157.5 to take the gold medal, and this is really going to put him under pressure. He's really going to have to pull out all the stops. Really interesting. You see how quick he is, gets under the bar, and, you know, as you emphasise time and time again, how important it is, the speed with which you actually have to execute this lift. Yeah, everything has to be right. Maximum pull, and then once maximum height has reached, you don't, under. Have, you don't have to get under before the bar starts travelling down. So the momentum that you've created in that first part of the pull, you mustn't... What you really need is a, a good competitive fight with, you know, good tactics and the coach is aware and the chess game moving around in the back room to onto the stage and then back again. Well, this man originally had 182.5 posted, so... Perhaps he's, he's just sat back and realised that uh, 180 will get him his 
second place and then he's got a couple of attempts to to sort of fight it out with Boevsky. Well, if that's, I mean, the other reason is that his warm-up might not have gone quite as well as planned, but we're about to find out. Merzaev, silver medalist, and two and a half kilos behind Boevsky at the halfway stage. Ten seconds, needs to get moving. Nine, eight. Comfortable. I think he does a push press. Oh. Well, this is going to be a this is going to be a tight competition between him and Bovsky. I mean, that, I don't think it was because his warm-up went bad. I think he just thought, let's just get one on the on the board, take the pressure off, go into the lead, which he which he has done now. And uh, well, that is that is good, sensible management between athlete and coach. And that's largely down to the coaches also reading the situation and bringing it to his attention and agreeing on what they're going to do and the reward is as you say he's got 330 what uh, Mosaev can do about this I mean 185 uh, he's got a seven key seven and a half kilo deficit at the moment okay he's got the lighter body weight so now what he's trying to do with this lift is to reduce it to two and a half kilo deficit and go into the lead on the clean and jerk I guess by virtue of lighter body weight yeah but remember he's he, you know Bursky looked good and you wouldn't bet against him being able to lift a little bit more but on the other hand you know Mosef trying to just stay close and then you know might only take an extra two and a half kilos and say all right I'll be equal with you on body weight and then we'll see whether you can lift it or not but before all of that he's got to do this Ten seconds. Well, he looks good. So the push press. There it is. So he takes the lead on the clean and jerk, but he's still two and a half kilos short of uh, the 342 that Bowevsky's done. So it'll be interesting to see what he... I mean, in a, in a way, he's almost got nothing to lose. I mean, I did... I suppose it depends what his aspirations are. Does he want to try and win the overall? Or is he going to go just two and a half to just try and win the clean and jerk? Well, I think both options are open at the moment. Uh, it's a question of where does the bar go now? You've got Keshkes has got to come out now and take this 185 kilo. I think this is asking a lot, but why not? He's, in, well, he's guaranteed the silver medal. Why not? I'll tell you what, they've, they've had the tactics absolutely clear in their minds right the way through uh, just an email in from Kostya Kostya asking about the European Championships in the Ukraine the answer is uh, yes Kostya we will be broadcasting it uh, with uh, NTU our uh, host broadcaster in fact we've got some colleagues uh, from Kiev down here with us and uh, we will be broadcasting the whole of the championships live from the Palace of Sport so come along and see us now right, come on 192.5 kilos great competition we've had so far and uh, if this man succeeds with this weight, it's still not over. Boevsky will still have to come out and lift this weight. Well, this is a 10 kilo personal best if he does it. Four seconds on the clock. Drives it up. Well, I'm impressed with the fact oh. that he even cleaned that. Well, he tried hard. So the question is, David, what's going to happen? Is Boevsky going to leave it, or is he going to go for a world record? I've got a feeling he's going to leave it. Well, I don't know. He, he, he wants to prove something after that failure. I know he's won the Europeans, but after that failure at the Worlds, I think he's, he's hungry to prove something. Now, is he going to give us a world record or not? Well, he's got 347.5 kilos, which is exactly the weight that Zhang... Guozhang of uh, China achieved at yes, the World look, Championships. 197. A world record. Now, I, I expected that because 